Peace, peace, peace. Back again, Dr. Alain Bay. What we're going to do tonight is get into some serious information. And that serious information is going to be dealing with Yahshua, Jesus, and the magic mushrooms. All right. You don't know about that science. You're going to learn today. All right. You're going to learn today. So let's get to that information right quick. All right. Hopefully y'all can hear me clear and even better, you can see the screen. All right, so there's no coincidence that your pineal gland is in the same shape as a mushroom. The ancient Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, in particular, the high priests, high priestesses of the Levites, in particular of the Levite priests, they will wear mushroom caps. Okay? They will wear mushroom caps. Now, you got to understand what that is. The science is, is that the mushroom caps symbolize the activation of the pineal gland by mushrooms. All right? You can get this book here. The Psilocybin Mushroom Bible by Hayes and Mandrake. The definition guide to growing and using magic mushrooms. All right. The psilocybin ones particularly are grown from the dung of cows in pastures. This is them to the left here that you're seeing. All right. And before I go any further, let me just say I have to dedicate this um, short lecture to Grand Master Baba Kalindi Ihi, all right, who I knew personally. Um, he spoke about this intensely the last few years of his life. So I lay his salam upon him. With the book Soma, Divine Mushrooms of Immortality by Watson, Get the Sacred Mushroom and the Cross by Allegro. Get the Sacred Mushroom, all right, by um, Puharich. These four books, plus these three, these seven books, Mushrooms and Mankind, The Impact of Mushrooms on the Human Consciousness and Religion, author, James Arthur. The Mushroom in Christian Art by John A. Rush. The Holy Mushroom, Evidence of Mushrooms in Judo Christianity by J.R. Irvin. These seven books will help you understand that we've been using mushrooms for hundreds and thousands of years. Hundreds and thousands of years. All right. As you see here, um, the Leviticus priests or the Levite priests, Leviticus priests, however you want to pronounce it, he's wearing the mushroom cap as I talked about. But he's also wearing that beautiful plate around his neck. All right. Like this one right here. All right. It has what is it is called the 12 precious stones of God. The breastplate of the priesthood of Levites. All right. Now. You have. For right here, you have for. Um, you have Sardius which is good for fertility, topaz, which is good for energy, emerald, which is good for heart issues and back. You have um, carbuncle, which is garnet, which is good for creativity. You have sapphire, which is good for intuition. You have diamond or clear quartz, which is good for purification. You have opal, which is good for happiness. 
You have agate, which is good for power and courage. You have amethyst, which is good for spirituality and calmness. You have aquamarine, which is good for communication. You have onyx, which is excellent for protection. And you have jasper, which is excellent for strength of the body. This is what these 12 precious stones symbolizes in which that the Levite priests are wearing on their breastplate. These are the damn near the same as the precious stones in the 12 zodiacal signs or constellations, your birth stones. I am from the Limba people. I have the same DNA as the Limba people. And the Limba people are from Nigeria down into South Africa, descended of the Bantu people. And they have been shown to possess more than 50% more than the imposter Jews and others. Possess more Kohen priesthood DNA than any and everyone else. I am from them. I also possess this same. This is E1B1A. And so as you see here, this symbolizes the tribe of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. These 12 stones. All right. So we want to get that in, make you understand that. Now, as you see here, you see um, the red with the white mushroom dots on it, which symbolizes, um, as you see during the Christmas time here, you will see this same color. This is why Santa Claus outfit is that same color. All right, the color red with white. This symbolizes the cross, St. Nick. All right, which of course um, is Lucifer, but uh, Santa Claus is Satan, cause, and they are symbolic to the time or the displacement of Jesus or Yahshua. <laughs> Excuse me. So that is symbolic to Yahshua. Yahshua. Okay. As we know, also was a descendant, thank you, was a descendant from Judah. He's from the line of David, right? These are various mushroom stones, which dates back 1000 BC to 500 AD, right? These are images from the book called The Plants of the Gods by um, Schulz and Holman. Look at these. All right. It can be interpreted as a phallus because the head of the penis is in the same shape as the pineal gland. In fact, it's called the penal gland. The pineal gland. Pineal gland. Okay, the head of the penis is called the penal. All right. When you go to jail, it's called the penal system. Them calcified white walls. Calcification. Calcification occurs around the pineal gland. Calcification. All right. Or dysfunction, sexual dysfunction, or um, impotency. You know what I'm saying? It's caused from not enough blood being able to go through into the phallus. So it symbolizes the same thing. Jesus Christ, the magic mushroom. The Bible talks about sacred manna that the Israelites ate in the desert. Many clues are given to just what manna is. The Bible say manna was a small round edible object that appeared on the ground after dew has fallen. Sound like mushrooms to me. If the manna was left out in the sun too long, it would breed worms and stink. Exodus 16, 14 reads, and when the dew that laid 
was going up. Behold, upon the face of the wilderness, there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoar force on the ground. Exodus 16, 20 continues. Some of them left of it till the morning, and it bred worms and stank. The small round edible object was when left in the sun, right, breed worms and stink, or none other than mushrooms. Is none other than mushrooms. Manna was round, was found on the ground. All right, I, I rhyme with that one. And in the dew would melt to mush, if not dried and collected on time, and would breed lava. All unique characteristics of mushroom. When dried, it was the waffle of bread, and its color was like coriander seed, the consistency and the color of dried mushroom. Exodus chapter 16. Sacred wine press. Sacred wine press. All right. Sacred wine press. Right. So manna was thought of as being produced miraculously. Birth without seeds. This is a perfect botanical description of a mushroom. All right. Now, before I go any further, I want to um, make sure that you understand is that, look, our channel has been demonetized, so we need for y'all to help out to keep this information going, because we know we bring this fire. We bring this information in which that is fire and is helpful to your existence so that you can know what's really going on on planet Earth, all right? Um there's no one really doing this like this to this level as far as this information. If I had a good editor, I would have hundreds and probably millions of hits, you know, because like I said, there's no one doing it to this level right here as far as in-depth information that you need for your life existence, that you need to continue on, you know, and to know God within you. All right. Now. Birth without seeds, miraculous, is due to the spores being um, microscopic and not visible to the naked eye. Jesus described the manna in detail in the book of John. In his story, Jesus attempted to make clear of manna that there's two different ones, kinds. He described the manna that he is giving the disciples last supper as the manna that bestows immortality. His statements, unless you have eaten his flesh, body, soma, manna, and drink of his blood, soma, juice, wine, you can have no life in you. Take a whole new meaning in the light of this discovery. The manna is directly associated with the fruit of the tree of life in the second chapter of the book of Revelation. It is the reward for those who overcome the lies of this world. All right. So in order to overcome the lies of this world, essentially, it's telling you that you need to take mushrooms. All right. And my good friend, Darius, he calls me and he's one of the students of Baba Kalindi Ihi. He's been there for years and he's up to like about 35 grams of the mushrooms. OK, you have penis envy, you have. Um, and the ones in which I showed you the simplest, um, uh, uh, the red and um, white ones, um, you have all different types of mushrooms. All right. So he called me and he talked about the fact that he was getting ready to take about 35 grams. He said he just started eating them and eating them, and eating them. All right. He goes into these, this, this parallel universe. And he see giants 25 feet tall or more. And he's fighting them and beating them. You know, all types of things. And he called me 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. My wife and I are up listening to him, you know, talk about what he was doing on this alternative or par parallel realm. All right. So Baba Kalindi E stated that if you want to see God, you have to do over 30 grams. All right. Um, that's something to work up to. That ain't something that you just go and start doing, y'all. 
All right. Understand this is a process. You have to um, make sure that your nervous system um, is able to conduct that. And remember, you have to remember your concentration of seven generations on your mother's side, seven generations on your father's side. All right. And these seven generations on your mother and father's side, 14 um, in total are the 14 missing pieces of Osiris or Osar. And so what happens is that when you take the mushroom, you activate their memories, their thoughts, and even your past lives. And therefore, you have a lot to deal with. And if you're not ready for these high amounts of, of um, psilocybin, then you'll have problems. All right. So you don't want to go too fast. You want to take this thing slow. Start out with about three grams and then work your way up to seven and, you know, keep going like that. You don't want to start out with no 30, 35 grams. All right. So don't be too anxious. But you want to make sure, though, that you're dealing with this information, you know, properly. All right. This isn't time for um, insanity, schizophrenia, um, you know, those types of things. You want to make sure that you have your mind and your head on straight. All right. So he described the manner that he is given to the disciples of the Last Supper as the manner that bestows immortality. His statements, unless you have eaten his flesh and drank his blood, you have no life in you. Therefore, a whole new meaning in light of this discovery. The manna is directly associated with the fruit of the tree of life in the second chapter of the book of Revelation. It is the reward for those who overcome the lies of the world, the fruit of the tree. Um, it's the hidden manna and the small white stone are spoken of separately. But in the same context, all of these are symbols for the Amanita, Amanita Muscaria. This is what James author speaks of in the book, Mushrooms and Mankind, page 16 and 17. All right, so the small white stone. Now that is also the pineal gland when it's calcified and the hidden manna helps to decalcify the pineal gland. All right, because there's zinc in that all right zinc has a very powerful um very powerful mineral in which that helps to um decalcify and help the brain with the dendrites and synapses the connection the electromagnetic connections in the brain all right so um psilocybin mushrooms also known as psychedelic mushrooms or basically all a um, polyphalic uh, group of mushrooms that contains the psychedelic compound psilocybin or psilocin or baocystin. Uh, now, common colloquial terms includes magic mushrooms and shrooms. They are used mainly as the enti um, entheogen, all right, entheogen, in other words, theo, um, it's talking about God and then in, in, Dio, gen, in your genes, the God in your genes. And recreational drugs whose effects can include euphoria, altered mind or thinking processes, closed and open eye visuals, all right, um, synesthesias, and altered sense of time and spiritual experiences. Biological gendera containing psilocybin mushrooms includes um, copel, copel, um, copilo or copilandia, um, galarina, um, gymnophilus, inocybe, mycena, Panai, uh, Eolus, um, Foliotina, Porteus, and Ciliocybe. Over 100 species are classified in the genus 
psilocybin. All right, this is how um, psilocybin looks and psilocin. And once again, these are magic. So these, now we're going to deal with some of the dosage of the mushrooms containing psilocybin. Um, hold on. Depends on the potency. Dosage. Dosage of mushrooms containing psilocybin depends on the potency of the mushroom. The total psilocybin and psilocin um, contained of the mushroom with various significantly both between species and within the same species, but is typically around 0.5 to 2.0% of the dried weight of the mushroom. A typical dose of common species, psilocybin, um, cubicy, is about 1.0 to 2.5 grams, um, while about 2.5 to 5 0.0 grams dried mushrooms material is considered a strong dose. Above 5 grams is often considered a heavy dose with 5.0 grams of dried mushrooms often being referred to as a heroic dose. Well, we're looking at uh, 6 to 7 times that amount in which that Baba Kalindi, he, he spoke about. So if this is a hero, heroic dose, then the other one must be a, then, then his 35, 30 to 35% must be on um, grams, excuse me, is a God dose. The concentration of active psilocybin mushroom compounds varies not only for species to species, but also from mushroom to mushroom inside a given species, subspecies or variety. The same holds true even for different parts of the same mushroom. In the species, um, Psilocybe, um, um, Semu, uh, uh, and Cease, the dry cap of the mushroom contains the most Psilocybin. This is why the Levite priest wore the mushroom cap because it's in the cap of the mushroom that the most Psilocybin about 0.23% to 0.90%. The mice um, psyllium contained about 0.24% to 0.32%. Right, so as mentioned earlier, there may be a connection between also the pineal gland, but lucent dreaming and the pineal glands um, melatonin secretions during REM sleep. And this is the case, then it is likely that the um, supplements that are known to encourage lucent dreams are also stimulating the pineal gland to excrete melatonin. Here is a list of some of the best known supplements, which also appears in a lucent dreams article. All right. Um, Cassilia, uh, Zacatec, Ichi. The Mexican dream herb, uh, saline, um, capicin, um, capicensis, the South African dream herb, mugwort, which we have mugwort, so we have plenty of mugwort. So if you want to support also, um, you can send donations. You can also go to our Patreon page, or you can go to our website, drlimelbay.com, and order mugwort. Because mugwort is one of the most powerful um, lucent dream herbs that you can take. From the sage family, mugwort is from the sage family. In European dream herb, um, all right, um, you have um, choline, an amino acid that also promotes production of um, um, AC, uh, acetal uh, choline, which also may stimulate the pineal gland. You have galantamine and um, alkaloid synthetic from a combination of plants known as the lucent dreaming pill. You have the um, upracin A, a powerful ancient Asian lucent dream supplement. And there's also 5-HTP that boosts serotonin levels at night 
and accelerate the REM cycles or dream sleep. This theoretically amplifies the effects of the previous mentioned lucent dream supplements. So once again, you want that mugwort. That's a herb in which that we have in which that helps you. You would simply make it into a tea, have that boiling water, put some in it, make it to a tea. If you want it a little bit stronger, darker colored, then you just add a little bit more mugwort. But after you do this, you can drink two cups, one in the um, afternoon, one before you go to sleep at night. And this should be able to give you deep sleep. But before the deep sleep realm, the lucent dream, in which that is very good for you to be able to know, um, because if you don't know what lucent dream in, dreaming is, that is you dreaming and knowing that you're dreaming in the dream. Once again, that's you dreaming and you know that you're dreaming in the dream. All right. So that is lucent dreaming. All right. So the mushrooms, mugwort helps with the production of what is called the land of milk and honey. We know that we have in heaven a more enduring substance, Paul. The mysterious circumstances connecting with the Bible story of John the Baptist and the information given in Smith Bible Dictionary proves the holy divine origin of that which was called John or Yahya but which is oil in Greek. John's father was said to be a priest of um, Abia or Abai or Abaya. All right. Um, there was no J. I um, just want to say that just like there was no Jesus, no Abaya is Abaya. All right. Um, Jesus is Yahshua. This latter in Hebrew means whose father is Jehovah or Yahweh. Yahweh, Jehovah, is the upper brain, the most high God, the crystalline dew, referring to in medieval Hebrew. Before the oil is risen or raised by the seed, thus giving one-tenth tied to the Lord, it is called natural or wild, not cultivated, like wild mushrooms, wild honey, wild flowers. OK, so John was a wild man, a native. All right. A parable. Most certainly his food was lotus. All right. Locusts. All right. Locust or the um, um, can be the locust as in the bug, the grasshopper. All right. Large grasshopper or can be the locust as in the plant in which that grows from the African tree. <laughs> All right, this locust. All right. The pineal gland and the pituitary gland secrete fluids called milk and honey. The milk from the pituitary gland is known as HGH, human growth hormone. All right. The honey is what is known as, um, it is known as chrysum. Well, together they're called chrysum. C-H-R-I-S-M, chrysum, all right? Now, that which is produced from the pineal gland is called penoline, DMT, all right? And when the HGH and the DMT, penoline, mixes together, it looks like milk and honey. It looks like this substance in which that is called the land of milk and honey. And this is basically... The, the pineal glands and the pituitary glands, secret fluids called milk and honey in the scriptures. Well, in your brain. And this is in your brain. Locus means destructive or destroyer, a, glu a gluten. All right. That's what it means um, metaphysically. But you can get the book, um, George W. Kari. All right. Um, or George Washington Carey, um, the book is called God, Man, the Word Made Flesh. God, Man, the Word Made Flesh. All right, so that is what you want. You have to understand that, that the whole thing about the mushrooms, about the mugwort, is to activate the pineal gland.
the pineal eye is not viewing an image that originates from without. It is tuning into all in all persuasive, holographic feel that it is immense within. Yes, it is seeing. All right, but not in a way the human eye sees. The pineal gland acts as a receptor of this electromagnetic energy, and the pineal gland has sitting above it what looks like a galaxy light cloud. That is an alternative, a uh, parallel world of existence or, or, or a parallel universe. All right? But not in the way that the human eye see. The pineal gland acts more like a television receiver that uses an antenna to receive information. Hence, this eye has a different construction than an optical eye, even though it has rods in the pineal gland. It has receptors, which are 144,000 crystalline um, magnetic, uh, what is called brain sand. Actually, it's um, calcite, right? Matter of fact, this is what it says. This is the theory. First, there is the antenna, a third-dimensional matrix of crystalline material that decodes the third-dimensional holographic waveform. This material, known as brain sand, is a collection of calcite, modules that are distributed throughout the pineal gland forming an amorphous third-dimensional matrix. This term sand is misleading for a large scale that grains appears as irregular lumps, but at a microscopic scale, we find a very precise crystalline matrix comprises of magnetic and electrical, electrically charged molecules aligning a long, um, rhombic, isometric, and um, hexo uh, uh, hectag um, um, hilodules, um axis. Now, this crystalline um, amalgam comprises of constant uh, concentric layers of geometric calcite, hepatite, and magnetite crystals right so you have to see what we're talking about right you have to see this for you to have an understanding of these crystals all right here it is this is how they look this is the microscopic calcite crystals that sits around the pineal gland. It's called brain sand. And what happens is that when there's um, not enough vitamin D3, your pineal gland can become calcified because the vitamin D3 is what helps with um, calcium moving to the proper areas of the body and staying decalcified. It's the vitamin D3. This is why you have to get, as a melanated person, at least um, one to three hours of sunlight a day. Or otherwise, especially during wintertime, you will um, develop sad seasonal afflicted disorder. All right. So you want to make sure that you stay in good condition. All right. Crystalline um, pisoluminescent. This is DMT, and this is what causes when these sunlight particles become illuminated, it lights up, it produces this, this amber, this is actually um, um, orange calcite. This is what actually is inside your brain, this calcite, and it produces the golden dragon body, as you see here to the left, your, your halo or auric field. That's the, actually the golden dragon being developed, as you see there, that looks like a dragon. Um, and that is the halo in which that is often seen in the 15, 16, 1700 paintings, in particular, the 15 and 1600 <laughs> paintings of um, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So I'm going to end that right there. Uh, like we said, this was going to be a short joint. If you want the full version of this, take your behind over to my Patreon page. Go over to Patreon. 
All right, we're not playing over there. You want this real stuff? Go over there. This is where we're going to be at, y'all. We got to get away from YouTube because YouTube demonetized the page. And how can we build? I mean, really build. You know what I'm saying? We're not out here buying Lamborghinis. We're not out here buying Bentleys. We're not out here buying any of that shit. As you see, I'm in my store. This is what you see right here. All right? This is my store. My wife and my um, business. This is what we're doing. We're building. All right? So if you want to help us to continue building, yo, come on with it. You know what I'm saying? We would love to help. All right? No doubt about it. Please help, as a matter of fact. All right? We got 100 acres of land. All right? Um, we want to buy an RV, you know, that can sleep at least 11 people or more so that we can begin to start going to these mounds, our indigenous heritage right here in the Americas, in particular in North America. We want to go to the mounds. I've already been to about maybe um, 20 mounds, but we want to take you there. Some of y'all don't even know what mounds are. These are pyramids in which that are ancient, in which they back thousands of years. All right. So, yes, yes, exactly. Calcite, <laughs> calcite, or calcite, um, or calcite. Yes. Yeah. Well, yes. Calcite. C A L. Cal as in calcium. All right. And sight, as in your eyesight, your pineal gland, no doubt about it. Um, study more, no doubt. That's that's how we get that. All right. And um, um, Giggy, uh, uh, Supreme. All right. Appreciate that. All right. So, um, appreciate y'all coming on. And as we always say, continue now for days, weeks, months, and years to come. We're moving towards our cherished goals of health, wealth, knowledge of ourself, protection, um, enlightenment. Um, better economic conditions and full contentment. Every action, enterprise, and endeavor in which they wish to be involved is bringing increasing rewards. We have so much abundant success, happiness, and joy in our life that we're able to move closer toward the oneness of God and God is in the full release by in our higher selves. Ashe, I'm in, I'm in Ra. We out. Peace. Patreon. Patreon, y'all. Hit us up over there. Can't say that enough. That's where we at right now. Patreon, hit us up. You want to give forth a donation? Dr. Ali Mount Bay, go to the donation page. We need every bit of it. All right? Peace.